the Combat Shadow is a low-level uh, infill, exfill platform that works at night. Our bread and butter is refueling helicopters. It's been in service for almost 50 years. It's done many, many missions. This plane has a, a very storied history. Uh, it's been around a long time. The Combat Shadow has been getting it done for a half century. It's been around, it's had the longevity, and it's proven its worth uh, time and time again. It's done everything we've asked it to do. The Combat Shadow has delivered everything. Uh, I mean, it's definitely near and dear to my heart. It's not, it's not a glamorous plane. It's old, hot, uncomfortable. But when it comes down to it, it gets the mission done. AFSOC intends to retire our last Combat Shadow in April of 2015. I love my airplane, take care of my airplane. I'm happy that she's done her mission and finally she gets some rest. I was lucky enough to be a part of the end of this whole thing. Uh, I got to see uh, Mildenhall start to lose their planes and retire all their aircraft. Uh, I'm out here now as we're starting to retire ours. And it's a little, it's a little bittersweet. The nice thing is, uh, at least about AFSOC, it's always about the next guy up and the next guy to accomplish the mission. I think the Jays are going to come in here and do a great job. Yeah, it's going to carry on the legacy. When the 353rd Special Operations Wing reactivated in 1989, it did so with a number of assets from the Air Rescue Service. This included what is now known as the Combat Shadow. The aircraft wasn't initially intended to stay in our inventory for very long, but AFSOC realized that it was capable of performing the many diverse missions needed on a daily basis. And it's a truly impressive record that's accumulated, and it is because of the hard work of people on both sides of the flight line. Not many people get to see the very end of a life cycle of, a, of an asset and get to see it doing work till the last one goes to the bone yard. The air conditioning may not work, you know, the, uh, the seat may uh, stink like it's been flown in for about 40 years, but uh, that's part of the fun of flying this plane, is knowing you share that history, that, uh, that bond, I guess, with those people who flew before you.